This is not a drip. Okay. Is this what I'm working with now? <gasps> Girl. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back with somebody else's hair. And guess what? It is Take It or Leave It Tuesdays. Clink, 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 clink. I know it's Take It or Leave It Tuesdays, but I got wine, okay? Because I'm about to go to dinner after this. So we, we pre-gaming. Pre and didn't I tell you I was on a break from drinking last video? But while we're pre-gaming, we're going to talk about some fun wig stuff today. It's been a little minute since I've done a Take It or Leave It Tuesdays because your girl been busy. I've been doing a lot. And finally, I'm back and I'm happy to try some new stuff. I have a group of products that I use for my wigs that I want y'all I want y'all to see if it works or if it doesn't. Girl, I've been wearing wigs good, bad, ugly since college. And right now, I'm 34 somebody count it and put it down below. so it's about 15 years y'all if it's wrong blame blame the Atlanta public schools cuz I don't know I have all of these uh, wig hacks that I would like y'all to try and we're gonna see if they're good or not we're gonna take them or leave them I want to go ahead and shout out our sponsor for a portion of this video, I wanna say thank you to Reshine Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them, look at it. This hair is from Reshine Hair. It is a 26 inch 13 by four lace frontal wig and it's 180% density. It is a straight lace frontal wig. Can you tell that it's straight? No because I curled it using a little Amazon product. So I wanted to give a few more details about this wig and show you how I applied it. Of course, I used the wig dealer spray to apply this wig. The wig, the lace was a little bit too light for me, but I was able to tint it with makeup and make it match. Now, if you like to get this hair, there is a coupon code it for 6% off using YTB. I'll leave a link for the hair in the coupon code down below. All the products used in this video have been used on this hair. Please check out the links down below and we're gonna get into all of the wig hack products. If y'all want to see all of the wig hacks, grab a glass of wine, subscribe to the video, and keep on watching. Um, first, I wanna get into bleaching knots. I have talked about this product a couple times before I actually did a full video on it. I use this Perfect Line Swiss product and I'm in the color Miche. This is a knot concealer and a grid filler. So the grids on your lace are those tiny little holes in lace. And when you, if you get close, girl, you ain't even gotta get close. If you can look and you got 20-20 vision, you can see those holes. The great thing about this Perfect Line Swiss product is that it covers up the knots it fills in those holes to make it look more like scalp because it makes it look smooth. So you're supposed to take your Perfect Line Swiss product and just put it in the water. And we're gonna let that sit for like three minutes, let it melt down. We're gonna let that go ahead and melt for three minutes. In the meantime, let's go ahead and turn this wig over. Y'all, I'm really, I'm about to redo this room because it's like a mess in here. Like these are the knots right here, those tiny little knots. The great thing about this wig is that it is single knotted. So it's not, ooh, got y'all in the skin. We're gonna flip the lace around. I think it's cooled off enough. So we're gonna start spreading. Ooh, that is, we're gonna spread. And the color I have is Miche, definitely like, a it looks darker than it actually is so Mish is actually the perfect tone for me but you're supposed to spread it on and then thin it out with the side of this product with the side of the um, container nice and smooth and the product doesn't rub off look at that 
Let me fold it this way. Need a little bit of transfer with all of that product that we use. So, so good. And it's waterproof, apparently. Let's go ahead and turn it on the other side. Okay, so take yourself a rat tail comb. First, you're supposed to just take the back of it and rub it. Ooh, y'all see the scalp coming out? And the owner also says to use a little bit of oil. I really don't like oil on my hair. Ooh, this was the part where we had the knots the most. I'm just gonna rub. I said I don't like using oil, but this is what the brand recommends. So I'm just gonna use a little bit on my finger, like a little tiny bit. It does look like scalp though. It do. Fruit. Oh my God. Is that my scalp or they scalp? Get out. What an invention. Ugh. Now the product is waterproof. It is transfer-ish proof. Like you'll get a little bit of color transfer, but it's not gonna give you like a whole bunch of transfer on your fingers. Uh, cons of using this product is that you shouldn't be using it on your hairline. Also, if you're gonna use, I've noticed, if you're gonna use a flat iron on the roots of your hair, it melts the product. I absolutely love this product. It is a black owned company. From what I understand, it is a black owned company. And she actually reached out to me with the last time I did a video, so shout out to her. But this product is something that I'm gonna keep on hand always because it's clutch. I have another tip for drying your wigs now there's a little i use the term ghetto affectionately because that's where most of my creation comes from there's a ghetto way to dry your wigs and that is basically a baby on the floor with a towel i use one tile fold it over the wig and blow dry the wig dry now it's best to do it on cool if i'm in a rush i'll do it on warm or hot I'll blow dry it on warm or hot. The risk with that is if you do it on anything other than cool, you could burn your whole house down. Now the actual hair on the wig, depending on how long it is, won't dry that quickly. If it's really, really long hair, it's gonna take some time. If it's short hair, it may dry shortly after the cap is dry. Now, if you wash wigs, you already know it takes forever to dry a wig. If you're a procrastinator and somebody that isn't a planner and does stuff last minute like me, this is a really good hack for you. But I also have a product that makes it a lot easier and a lot better and a lot um, safer to dry your wig. She look a little bit funny. Don't y'all laugh at her. Let me show you, it's from Amazon. So this is Sis, okay. Now she look like a hoe. <laughs> this wig head right here is actually a drying wig head. So this one is the the fresh wig head dryer. You basically plop the wig on her and she has little rubber stoppers to slip, stop the wig from slipping. You put the blow dryer in your mouth and you put it on cool. Don't turn it on hot because you'll melt this head. You just need to turn your blow dryer on cool. It will dry the wig down. Let me show y'all how I use it. Hold on. Can y'all see? Let me turn this light on. Got too much going on. And my husband coming home, and I'll be like doing stuff when he coming home. You know what I'm saying? Me and this plant is fighting. Get off of me. So I'll take the wig, put it on. Boom. But we're not done. This wig head comes with this little attachment thing. And I'll take these clips. It comes with these clips. Clip it on the ends. Like so. Clip it on the lace. You take this little section right here and then you just pull it up so it's tight. Ooh, not too tight. And then these hooks so that it doesn't go anywhere. I don't know what this for, but that's what I'm gonna use it for. Okay, so she's on, she's secure, she's not going anywhere. It also has rubber stoppers on there, so it's not slipping and sliding around. We're gonna take this little blow dryer. So I have my Revlon blow dryer. It's only like $10, $15. It comes with a diffuser 
piece on the front, which I love. You take the blow dryer and you're gonna stuff it in her mouth. But we're gonna turn this on high and cool. Don't turn it on hot, you're gonna melt the little head. We're gonna put it in her mouth. I make sure she's tight. And then I'm just gonna turn this on. The great thing about this product is if you are wet styling the hair, you can style the hair, put the blow dryer on it, and then just let this thing work. I can't remember how long it took for some of my wigs to dry in the cap. I would say like an hour or two for your wig to dry versus overnight. And what I do is I put, I put sis on the same wig head stand from Ikea. This is an Ikea lamp stand that I've had for years. Pop her on here. I don't care what you do or where you came from, girl. Everybody got an Ikea lampstand. It's the best. So if you are looking for a quick solution to drying your wigs and you don't want to do it the, the uh, towel hack way, you can definitely use this. She was only, let me see, how much was she? Oh, I think right now it's like $40. It was like 30 to 40 bucks when I bought it. So I'll leave a link for it down below if you're interested. Speaking of drying wigs, so if you're not going to be a quick dry person and you're good at planning, you could just hang dry your wigs. Now, get away. How I used to hang dry my wigs was just go ahead and take a nice little two clip pant hanger, connect it to the lace and just hang it up in my bathroom with a towel under it because the floor is gonna get wet. Now, if you dry your wigs on a non-vented wig head or laying down, you run the risk of getting like a moldy smell in your wig because you're not letting the air circulate through the fabric. It's just like letting a towel sit. There's a lot of fabric on there, so you may have like a moldy scalp and don't nobody want a moldy scalp sit. So you need to make sure you're drying your wigs properly. So either air dry them on a hanger, pant hanger if you have one in your house, or dry them on this product that I got from Amazon. Girl, I'm, I love this thing. Okay. Ooh. So this is a hanging wig stand. I use this to hang some of my wigs that I actually like and I need easy access to and or I use it for drying my wigs. I'll actually hang it on my shower rod and allow the wig to drip while after I wash a wig. Y'all, this is ghetto. I need a shower curtain. This is our guest bathroom, like the wig bathroom. The lighting here is terrible. It's so bad. I've already squeezed out the wig. There you place your wig on like this. So we slide the wig on like this and then I just hang it up. But that's where my wig hangs until I'm ready to film. This allows for my wig to dry in the way that it would sit on my head. All of the wig is getting air. I love it. I love it and I just hang it on my, my shower rod. Every time I think about shower rods, I think about Mimi Foss. But I hang it on my shower rod, I put a towel under it, and I just let it dry. I love this product. You can get it from Amazon. And how much was she? It came in a pack of two, and it was only $9.99. And you can get it in the color white and semi-trans. What color is that? You can get it in different colors, but you pay $10 for two of these. Great. Oh, next. Okay, so my last product, this is really quick. So, now, there was a little hack. There's a little TikTok hack of, you know, the, the blow dryer community, as I like to call it. The blow dryer community is out here using the satin rods to curl their hair. Now they were using like socks, robe wraps, like girl, they was using all type of rope-like stuff to curl their hair. So eventually people started to create these sort of satin rope rollers, but this is like a long rope, but this, thing is jean yes if you hadn't tried it girl go ahead and get you some i got this three pack of rope rollers from amazon it's a heatless curl ribbon but i have a three pack of these one black one leopard and one pink this is perfect for long hair and you only need one of these to curl your hair that's how i got these curls in like a few minutes okay so we've fully customized the wig doesn't it look good so i'm just gonna part the hair down the middle. So you have to split the hair in half. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, in the back, but we're just gonna section off one side. Okay, so we're gonna dampen one side of the hair. 
but they said the hair should be like 70% wet um this is like 100% wet oh my god I did not mean to do that oh well and now we need to take our rope curler I actually have a few of these from Amazon okay so they say place it on the head right and then clip the rope curler in place. So we're clipping it in place so she don't go nowhere. And then we're gonna take this side and we're gonna wrap and hold. You take another section, bring it around and you're gonna wrap and hold oh this isn't hard take another section oh you can't see i think it's the tracks that makes it hard and take another section wrap oh do you need to brush these out wrap oh and hold We're gonna wrap, wrap, wrap. And then you secure it with a hair tie. A little hair tie. I wish I had a satin one. Secured. Okay, so we did the one side. Let's do the other side. Okay, so Miss Mama is curled, honey. She's curled for the girls. How come this side looks better? Oh, it's probably gonna slip down, I think, maybe. So we're just gonna connect these ends together and let her chill. Okay, girls, we are all set. So she's curled up and we're gonna let her sit and relax and let the curls do what they are gonna do, or at least we hope. So now that we have fully laid down the wig. We can take down our hair from these rollers. I'm so excited. I wanna see what it looks like and it seems like the curls are gonna be really pretty. So we got one hair tie off. We have another hair tie off. So we about to let this hair down. Oh my God. Look at, how do you take this down? I don't know if I'm doing this properly, but it's already done slipped to the back of my head. This is not a drip. Okay. Is this what I'm working with now? Girl, look at these curls. Like, and the hair is so soft I mean like crazy soft you see these okay so I'm gonna brush through the curls y'all y'all these curls are perfect and the hair is so soft it's not damaged from heat okay let me show y'all what it looks like in the back because these curls are unreal Y'all, these curls are the best curls, the best curls I've ever done, ever. Love it. 
it's perfect i think that this is one of the best hacks ever and i think that y'all should try it if you do try it please let me know down below but this is definitely a take it not to leave it so hopefully you all enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the finished look i want to say thank you again to reshine hair for sponsoring part of this video y'all tell me what are your wig hacks down below so if you have a lace tint hack that i can use please drop it down below y'all let me know what your favorite wig hacks are i feel like i i feel like i brought y'all something i love you all and i will see you in my next video Bye.